Hi, I'm Jen from the Chronicles of Home, and I'm going to show you today how you can take out existing, builder grade, possibly beige and ugly light switches from your house and replace them with awesome, beautiful new light switches from Legrand, and specifically I'm using their Adorn line. So when you go ahead and remove the plate from your existing light switches, you're probably going to see something like this. And I'm not going to lie, I felt a little freaked out when I saw that. But you're going to take it one switch at a time, I'm going to tell you what to do. Once you break it down, it's really not that hard, so don't get overwhelmed. Having said that though, I did have a little difficulty. I wound up calling an electrician to come explain some things to me, but I do understand now, so I feel pretty confident that I'm giving you good information. Um, okay, I'm going to show you this switch first. This is considered a three-way switch, and the way that you know it is a three-way switch is if you have two light switches that turn on the same light. And also, you will have one, two, three wires hooked up to the light switch. This one down here is the ground wire, and the ground wire is always easy to spot. It usually has a uh, green screw and it's always either bare copper or has like a green tubing over it. So that one's easy. The other three, I was totally baffled how to tell what was the hot wire and what to do with the other ones. So what the electrician told me, this is how you tell what the hot wire is. If you look at those screws, can you see that this one is blacker than this one? That means that this is the hot wire. And a hot wire is always gonna be identified by something different. It could be a black screw, it could be like a bright gold screw, but it's always going to be different. And this hot wire is the only one that you really need to identify and get right. So here's your new Adorn by Legrand switch. This is what it looks like from the front and you can see that it's quite different looking from a traditional light switch. Um, but it's really, really easy. Everything is labeled. So you're going to see there's one section with two holes that says hot. There's one section with two holes that says three-way. And there is another that says one hole. So that hot wire is the only one that really matters. If you've identified hot, you're going to take the wire, disconnect it from, once it's disconnected from your old switch, just stick the wire right in either one of those holes above where it says hot all the way in and then tighten the screw really tight. I use a small flathead screwdriver. And then the remaining two wires, it doesn't matter where they go. You put one of them in one of the holes that says three-way and tighten the screw, and put the other one in one of the holes that says one pull and tighten the screw. And then you turn it around, pop it into the wall, and you're done. The other kind of light switch that you're gonna wanna know about is this one all the way down on the end here. You can see that it's red around the outside, and in my experience, um, a four-way switch, at least in my house, always has this red box. This totally threw me. I didn't know that this existed. So, the four-way switch is when you have three different light switches that operate the same light. And just like the three-way switch here had three wires going into it, the four-way switch can be identified because it has four wires going into it. One, two, and three, four. Now, this one, you do not have to identify the hot wire. I was so confused because all the screws are the same color. But I'll show you what to, what to do with this four-way switch. So with the four-way switch, instead of identifying uh, hot wire, you're actually gonna look inside the wall and the wires for the four-way switch are gonna come out of two different tubes. So here, is one, you can just see the edge of that white there. That's one of the tubes. And then over here is the second tube. So two wires are gonna come out of each of those tubes. You wanna keep the wires coming from the same tubes together. So one of these blacks and one of these reds is gonna come out of the same tube and the other black and red is gonna come out of the same tube. That's what matters for a four-way switch. Here again is the Adorn by Legrand switch. Looks the same as the three-way from the front, but the four-way switch is going to be red in the back. And the ports look a little bit different too. But again, it's really easy and everything is labeled. So on the top, you're gonna see two openings where it says out and two openings where it says in. And then down on the bottom, you 
have two more ports that say out and two more that say in. So remember that you want to pay attention to the red and the black wires that come out of the same tube in the wall. All you do, it doesn't really matter which one you put where except this, the wires that come out of the same tube stay in the same, stay with the same label. So you're going to put one of the wires from say the left tube where it says in and tighten the screw and put the other wire from that same tube in the port that says in. And then with the tube you have left, the two wires from the tube you have left, you put one in the out port and tighten it and put the other one in the bottom out port and tighten it. And that's it. So there are also wall plates that need to be installed to go with Legrand's switches. They're sold separately. But the instructions that come with the wall plates for installing them are really easy to follow. It's the switches that are complicated. Um, well, they're not complicated. They're complicated if you don't know what you're doing. And especially those three-way and four-way switches totally threw me for a loop. So I hope this helps clear up any confusion you might have and maybe you can get your installation done a little more quickly than I got mine done. Um, do let me know if you have any questions. You can leave a comment on my blog post or on this video here on YouTube and I will do my best to help you. Thank you for joining me here today and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.